Global Ethics Corner from the Carnegie Council. In the marketplace, which benefits you more, self-interest or fairness? In favor of self-interest, Adam Smith argues that the invisible hand of competition indirectly promotes the good of society. Markets need many participants and competition needs open information. Then, the individual, quote, pursuing his own interest frequently promotes that of the society, end quote. The economic mechanism of selfishness focuses on individuals' choices. However, the outcome is greater than the sum of the pieces, and through competition, society benefits. You help others by helping yourself. In favor of fairness, research by Joseph Henrich suggests that norms are important. Norms regulate and channel individual choices. Quote, Markets don't work very efficiently if everyone acts selfishly and believes everyone else will do the same. End quote. This research observes 2,000 plus people in 15 small communities, from Missouri wage workers to Hadza nomads of the Serengeti. People's sense of fairness varies by culture, and larger societies were most willing to punish those who violated norms of fair interaction. Thus, market norms are created, promoting conditions that improve exchange. The conclusion is, quote, if you develop norms to be fair and trusting with people beyond your social sphere, that provides enormous economic advantages and allows society to grow, end quote. Helping others benefits you. What do you think maximizes individual benefits? Is it cutthroat competition or altruistic norms of fairness and trust? Can you have both? This is William Vokey from the Carnegie Council. Made possible by the Carnegie Council for Ethics and International Affairs. Post a comment at www.carnegiecouncil.org. 